Hello and welcome back. By this time, you might have some questions uh, whether this PowerShell, or should I go with the Windows PowerShell or PowerShell Core? Such kind of, you know, few of the questions can be answered within this lecture. If you're clear on the PowerShell Core and the Power Windows PowerShell, you can feel free to skip this, uh, this lecture. So the, the first question would be the, uh, if you ask me, does Windows PowerShell have a future? Uh, that's the legacy of PowerShell in other way. So to answer that uh, clearly, there's no as the answer. The future belongs to the PowerShell code as things stands now. Microsoft will only provide uh, bug fixes and security updates. If you can remember in the previous section or previous lecture, uh, we talked about uh, this point very clearly. So the future uh, is PowerShell code, not the Windows PowerShell. And uh, because the PowerShell code will receive the uh, future updates, that's the answer for this question. And uh, if you ask me, should I still work with uh, Windows PowerShell or switch to PowerShell code? This is uh, this is another immediate question that might uh, strike up in your uh, mind. To answer this, this is actually uh, depends on your environment. If all of your systems have PowerShell code installed, you might consider moving now. But PowerShell code is still very new and uh, you may be risking running all kind of troubles also. So because it's just the one version was released, which is a version six. And uh, I recommend you to wait for version seven fully released so that uh, you can uh, you can switch back uh, if really you want to switch to PowerShell code. That's the uh, ultimate answer which I can give. Another question would be, can I run PowerShell and PowerShell Core on the same computer? Yes, you can run uh, both the things because both works on a different .NET. Right, one works on the .NET Core and the uh, other one works on the .NET Framework. So both can work, there's no problem. The next question would be, uh, maybe if you're quite new, you can skip this question, but uh, uh, I'm gonna uh, ask this question myself, like, uh, can I use the PowerShell IEC with the PowerShell code? If you're quite new to the PowerShell IEC, uh, think that it's editor where you write the script uh, of PowerShell and uh, you come to know, uh, you know, if any, any uh, script mistakes, all that can be easily edited within the PowerShell IEC. That's what I can give you as a one line at this point of time. We're going to work uh, in detail with the PowerShell IEC in the upcoming lectures anyway. But uh, the question uh, relevant to the PowerShell IEC, which is a text editor, think that uh, whatever the script you want to write, instead of you write in a notepad, you can write in a PowerShell IEC. So uh, can I use a PowerShell IEC uh, for the PowerShell code? The answer would be no, because uh, PowerShell Core uses the uh, Visual .NET uh, code uh, mechanism based. So just use the Visual St uh, Studio code uh, instead of the PowerShell Core. Uh, that's the another uh, answer for that. Another one would be the question, uh, will all my old uh, PowerShell scripts works and PowerShell Core? Uh, you might have this question, but by this time you should be, you should have an idea that uh, uh, the answer is, uh, the answer is the PowerShell works with the previous updates uh, with the backward compatibility. So this only applies uh, partially with the PowerShell core uh, at this point of time, not uh, entire PowerShell uh, core is a cr uh, core will support because the PowerShell core is a cross-platform edition of PowerShell. Let's say you take an, a PowerShell command uh, which is spe more specific to Linux and you're trying to execute on Windows, it might not work. Uh, so the answer, uh, ultimate answer would be you need to know back, uh, you need to test the uh, commands, uh, whether these are compatible or not, uh, because a few of the commands may not be compatible with the backward compatibility. So that's the uh, answer for this question. And other question would be the, let me click on next to another question. Um, will all my scripts I've written already for my PowerShell code run on all supported platforms? So the basic scripts will run on all platforms. And however, considering a huge difference between the uh, supported platforms, you have to test each script on all the platforms. Uh, that's the uh, 
that's a testing plan you might have to consider because the uh, whatever the script you're writing on a PowerShell code that must be tested on all the supported platforms before you actually test and uh, other question would be do all the modules of the PowerShell uh, there's a Windows PowerShell can run on uh, your PowerShell core? No. As I said, the answer is no. Uh, many complex modules have to be adapted uh, for PowerShell core. In some cases, different uh, modules, uh, modules versions exist for the both the PowerShell editions. Uh, that's why we have to say as a no as the answer. And coming back to the new question, uh, can I use all .NET Framework classes on a PowerShell core? The ultimate answer would be no, because the PowerShell depends on a .NET core. Uh, that's the uh, that's the ultimate answer and uh, which uh, lacks of many features of the .NET framework uh, for instance if you take it uh, Windows presentation uh, foundation we also call WPF uh, uh, or the Windows forms uh, and the Windows workflow are still missing on a .NET code because the .NET core is the open platform uh, and the .NET framework is a completely different which is purely built uh, built for the WPF and Windows Forms uh, and for the Windows uh, workflow uh, which are still missing on a .NET Core. So if you are considering some kind of uh, classes uh, to use uh, along with the PowerShell module then uh, you might have to check whether these uh, classes are relevant to your .NET framework or uh, .NET framework based uh, so you might have to consider for the PowerShell, Windows PowerShell based. And the next uh, question would be a very simple. Uh, you might have already got this, like uh, can I launch the PowerShell maybe uh, with the PowerShell.exe on a core uh, specific? Uh, the answer, you know that uh, the, the reason is why why I can't uh, launch PowerShell core with the PowerShell.exe on Windows computers. Because PowerShell core uh, doesn't support uh, as a PowerShell.exe because the Windows PowerShell only works with the PowerShell.exe. And the PowerShell core is and can launch with the PWS. H. That's a, a PWSH is the command which you need to you know, work on. This is because the PowerShell core and the PowerShell uh, have uh, to coexist on the same computer, you need to uh, you can't have the same exe file. That's why Microsoft dif differentiated PowerShell Core uh, to run with uh, PWSH and uh, PowerShell with the uh, legacy exe, which is a PowerShell.exe. And the next question would be the I can't find official documentation of the PowerShell and PowerShell Core because the recently Microsoft has been merged. Uh, these PowerShell core as well as the PowerShell documentation in the one place so you might have to look at uh, the specific document. If you just Google as a PowerShell documentation you will be getting uh, which is going to definitely to the doc.microsoft as a fast link and you can check out here the latest PowerShell as a Windows PowerShell uh, which is a PowerShell 5.1 and also you have the PowerShell uh, code. These are the two things uh, and specific uh, documentation you can find out. And also uh, the PowerShell code as I explained now 6.2 also there uh, which is 7 is coming up. Uh, once the 7 is there uh, you you would be finding out here the documentation specific. So both the documents now uh, wherever it is possible it is actually documented as one and the same. Uh, that's how it has been uh, defined. Thank you for watching this. I hope a few of the questions has been clear for you and if you have any of the questions you can feel free to post into the questions and answers section. Thank you for watching this once again.